Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon Ranked. Today I'm facing a very highly ranked player, Konos. Um, I've heard stories about this guy and none of them good. In the sense that he is a complete unicum. He's going to probably destroy me in about 10 minutes, um, but that's fine. That means I can analyze and learn. Now, my plan, uh, capturing the town over here, it is fairly traditional. Defending on the left side with uh, most likely just a T-55, maybe a Erico on the far hand side here. Although that is going to take away from my initial push. I'm going to try and get to the town, secure that, so that's going to require the ETGM that I've placed down. Uh, the Ranico are going to go there and make sure that we hold the town against other infantry. Recon Hilo, I'm going to see what he's up to. I'm going to open with what I have done quite a few times on this map, which is a mix of helicopters. Uh, a KT here as well. And then I'm going to go with the MiG-21MF. When it comes to the middle here, I would love to get a combo of another Erico squad. Uh, oh, crap. I also need to get Erico here. Erico squad down in the middle with an ATGM. Uh, considering I have the entire woods there, I could make it one of these, as opposed to a spike. Because the spike has less range. Early on though, I really need to capture this. At least, that's what I want to go for. So it's just going to be the Erico there. Um, considering that the spike is half the price, I'll give it the spike here. I'm going to get a couple of KTs. Uh, let's get a mortar. There. Okay then, here we go. A major general. I'm operating Polish Finnish motorized. As usual, it's the deck that I'm sticking with. It's the deck that I have grown quite accustomed to. Is it going to save me? <laughs> Against a major general. We shall see. Okay, off you go, off you go. You boys over there, drop off. Fear the mortar, you go there, and you smoke, smoke, smoke. You go over here. That goes over there, and that falls back to there. We're gonna get a bit of base defense. I'm not really expecting... Oh, crap. I'm not really expecting a flanking maneuver from him, but you never know. There's his hero. Okay. Huh. Interesting. And there's a column of shit. Um, I need to intercept said column of shit, but it has anti-air. So that's fairly annoying. Start smoking. Drop. This is going to cost me a lot of helos. Fall back. Get out. Take that out. Go, go, go. Get into that town. Uh, I completely forgot about my rocket ball plane. If I got to the building, use the Renico, I want that building. And we're going to start wiping out the MS-17. Shit, no we're not. No we're not! Drop! Hello boys. My town. My town. I claim this for the Finnish Polish and the rest. That's a spike. It's gonna be a dead spike soon. Yeah, but a branchy. Boom bar. I need to stay well outside the range of the boom bar. I'm very much uninterested in getting hit by a boom bar. You fall back. You fall forward. Yep, there's the boom bar. And that's tanks. Some persuasion. Can't quite do much against that yet. Okay, we are motorized squad, as Blitz would say, so off we go. There's a pram. It's a very clever unit. Let's get one of these boys. Uh, kill that. V whore? I'm sorry, what? 
That's very expensive shit. Unfortunately, there's a Neva protecting it. It's not what I want to find. Mihani Chovana. Mm. I have the town, but I know there's tanks here somewhere, and I know that he has his anti-air. He is pulling his tanks out, at least for now. Let's get my mortar up a bit further. I'm going to try and get a bit more control over on the left. Although, no, the left doesn't have anything going on. I got my ATGM coming here. I need to get something that reaches out and touches the unit there. And I need to ideally get another Erico over there. Because I have no end here. And if this MI8 has anything to say about it, that's going to be the last of it. Getting these guys some resupplies is going to be difficult at least and impossible at worst. Because I have... I have a hard time getting to that town with anything that looks like logistics. That Vihor is such a problem. Get over here. Get over here. Yeah, see, he has a beautiful fire support here. Um, I am not interested in his fire support though. I'm gonna smoke in front of the fire support and try to keep it away. But this MI-17 is doing a ton of damage. Um, yeah. A few yickety, but it's not really going to stop him. Not against the level of infantry that he has. Move up a bit. Does he move up? X-780 over there. There's a pram. Yeah, see, that's a problem. That's a pretty good and especially well-rested unit of infantry. Um, and he's not taking shit from anyone. Which is fine. Let's get a recon tank over here to get rid of that premise. Drop off the Erico. There's the V-Horn. No. He really doesn't want my fire support there. I want his uh, his V or his Victor. I want his V or dead. There's the other HGM. <laughs> Jesus. This is going to be quick, isn't it? Syria can't see shit. Oh, this guy is so good at covering everything up. I got nothing left. Wow. Okay. Um, that's at least one of them doing. Unfortunately, he has reconnaissance and he can see my recon squad. So he's going to capture that. My unit is down. My Saria, that is. Uh... How do I get into that town? I think the simple answer for now is I don't. Ooh, you actually got a hit. Well done. Would love for you to do it again, but unfortunately that v is not quite in the mood to be shot at. And it's gone again. These are my 17s. I have nothing left. I have nothing left against him. Uh, I can't see his super heavy. His infantry is going to kill mine. His MI 17s are going to kill mine. And Ito might be able to get rid of the MI 17s, but I still don't really have an answer there. I guess I could wipe out the proletariat with a jet. Or maybe with an MI-17 of my own. Get the Erico. Never mind. I was going to say get the Erico away, but I have no Erico left. He's already captured that. 
I'm assuming he has defense here, because that's what almost everybody does. So trying to get there is going to be very difficult. He has a fighter up to prevent my HGM plane from going after his tank. And the smoke is running out. But that's about it. Still can't really see much of his forces. So let's fix that situation first with the sissy. I don't want to risk a salamander because I don't think it'll live. Um, if I can knock out his anti-air, that would allow me to send in the air, the the Seria and get rid of his super heavy, which I think is there. Mm, yeah, that's going to be a problem. The Prachka. Prachka is not radar guided. Where's the v -heart? Hello. Get in the building. So with the L17 up, I can't quite send seed in. I cannot quite get rid of the helos. Because the Ito is, of course, not going to be capable of hitting them at 6,000 meter range. He's going to take this forest from me next. Uh, what do I send in? I don't know. Just some infantry to hold. Just a CV to stop bleeding. There is infantry heading into this forest. That concerns me. There we go. He captured Dimitri. He's at a plus two. Let's guesstimate. Although it could very well be a tank CV. In which case, I'll never see it. You can spot that. God, here comes the V-Hotter again. There's the L-17. If I can bait the L-17 to fly over the Ito, that'd be great. But I don't think he's going to fall for it. Look at this. This is... <laughs> you can just see the tank creeping up through the smoke. Essentially. Get out. Any guys. This guy's OTM-60 in there. Oh god. Now you're going to attack. My MiGs are way too expensive in order to deal with that in time. And there goes the second tank sniper. I have no way to deal with the super heavy. Not in the way that I just send in a plane anyway. Um, that means we're going to have to send in a Hilo, like a Salamandra, although it only carries four Cocon M's. Which aren't really going to do too much, I'm afraid. And he can easily capture that and be done. Okay, what can I learn if I push more towards the middle? I can probably learn how I get my infantry killed, but... Expecting recon infantry there and there. Drop. And make sure it doesn't capture this forest, although he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to, he can just basically sit where he is. There, that's the second option to deal with the infantry. Oh, sorry, with the, the Vihor. Uh, this is problematic. Go away. Thank you. He secured Anna. Is it a plus two? No wonder. Did that drop off the CV? There's your plane again. That's the L17. Pram S. Give me a second mortar. There's the v hot again. Jeez, he's fantastic at smoking up his tank. Uh -oh. Watch this. I'm gonna fire a missile and he's there. Before I even fire the missile, he's pushing back into smoke. And again, he doesn't really have to go out there anyway. You can basically sit where he wants to. Now then, these boys. Tow two missiles, two of them, very accurate. I just need to get into range. We got... Oh, really? You can't shoot that? Auto branch, you're gonna just pick off units. 
That is going to suck. Okay. Um, I think he has a lot of stuff there and here. He seems to be slowly ramping up here, which means I might have an opportunity. But I'm going to have to go in with quite a few units. So let's say a couple of KTs, a tank, and relocate the Ito, at least for now. It's the only NTR that I have. There you go. I want you guys to relocate again. Uh-oh. Did I kick him out? No, I didn't kick him out of Anna. Hello, there you are again. Um, smoking it up again. You can probably see these two ATGM units of mine. Oh, and an M84A and to boot. Lovely. Stop. 2600 range. I wonder if this would work. I'm basically rolling with a creeping smoke screen for each GM units. Never tried it, but... Could be worth a shot. <laughs> or not. Or not. And there he goes again. <laughs> Fuck, the mortar is out of smoke. Is that your NTR? Not that I care about his NTR much. I mean, I can't hit it anyway. I cannot use planes because I don't really have the planes that I need to use. And over here, I got a whole bunch of infantry, but nothing that can reach out and hit the enemy. The M84AN is now also. Actively a smoke tank. In a way, it's just glorious watching this guy work. Just to see how calm and organized everything is. There is the M4EN again, under a smoke screen. Look at that. 110 point tank, 8 runs a minute. This thing is 10 runs a minute, and I simply have no way to kill it. Not a 1. There is all sorts of transports and NTR coming in. And I know I'm floating a ton of points. I just have no idea what to buy. So we're going to do something here. We're going to push in with two KTs and a T on P55. It's not great, but at the moment, it's really the only thing that I know how to do. I want you to drop off there. I don't know what the range of that thing is. 3,800, okay. This is going to be deadly. Autocan's rushing my position. I still have some Spado left, but not many. The KTs have been destroyed because I wasn't paying attention. Kill that. Ideally soon. I need the Ito to kill that. The only position that I think I might have a shot at the moment. Here's what I worry is going to happen. He's going to push in here. And he's going to then threaten center. And the only thing I might be able to kill here is his end here. But it still doesn't help me. Because the Vhor and the M84AN are going to take one look at me. I did get his end here. They're going to take one look at me and go, yeah, you're dead. And they'd be right. Erico forward. Get back. There's too many units. Spike is trying to do what it can, but it's too far away. Get that. Kill. There's too much stuff there in the middle. This thing probably doesn't even have minimum range. Let's assume there's something over there. 
HGM team. That's bad news, especially for the Ito and for the T-55, which is now getting pushed by MS-17s. Which means I have no defense against these two rocket pod birds, and I will die. There's more of those M-80s. So that's not where the CV lives, that's clear. Oh, there's there's a Pram and a Paraka and a Saba. M80 Proletary. <laughs> he has so many points. How am I supposed to defend against this? Kill. Get the other guy. Here comes Proletary. There's the tank from hell. Oh, drop, 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 drop. Spotted, we're dead. He's taken the forest. <laughs> I have no idea what to do against this. Let's see what he has to say. Um, he's <laughs> ranked five. <laughs> oh well. He has an OP deck. Okay. Probably. 70% victory ratio after 600 battles. He wasn't mechanized, he wasn't armor. It's all general for you. Because it wasn't mechanized because he couldn't have had. Yeah, see? Beautiful with the V harp plus smoke. I really appreciate that he's at least trying to give me some advice. Ain't a particularly good map for Moto. No, I suppose. It's too open. Not really enough sneaking opportunities that I could see. So that made it a bit more difficult to operate with my deck. It pushes the huge down. Okay. That would have been interesting. In this case, though, wouldn't your MI-17s have killed that push? And you would have had Anna Alpha. Which means it would have been very difficult for me to get in there. I mean, I do decently well with a motorized deck in the forests, but it's still difficult to get into a sector once it's been fairly reinforced. I got Sokol on the Ito, yeah, that's true. Just smoke the entry point to the town as well. Yeah. Just smoke his side of the town and then push in. Still though, look at this. <laughs> I lost 1,200 points in the 20 minutes that we played. I did kill some of his stuff, but really not that much. Some infantry, some helos. There's the Hera 2 that the Eriko took out. But his expensive stuff, the Vihor... Couldn't do anything against it. It was so well smoked up. Fihor also took out the HGM vehicle, of course, that we saw. You can grind the force on the other side. So, the Foxtrot forest... It's probably not the forest that he means. 
Prochka. Yeah, the Prochka took out both of the MI-17s. So he does mean grind the forest. He does mean the one in Alpha. Hmm. Okay. So you establish map control by taking the big town. And then you push in potentially from my forest. Huh. That's an idea. Let's see what we can glean from the replay. Because there is probably an interesting setup there. It's interesting. The match that I played before this, the other ranked match, it was against a private. Or sorry, against a no rank. So lower than a private, even though the guy had 80 or 85 battles in ranked. So I went from all the way the lowest end of the spectrum to one of the elite players. In ranked, you never quite know what you're going to face. Anyway, what he said is push the large town, so this one. And then, once you have that, I can sort of zone him out of Delta, because it's going to be particularly difficult for him to get a CV here. Arguably, it would be difficult for me here as well, because I could maybe take the town, but I could really not put a CV in there, because it'd be too obvious. It would be there in the tree line, or there, or here. But here, if I have this and he has that, I really don't feel like I have enough control over that. Especially considering he can sneak his infantry here, put some recon there, and very easily spot a CV. Anyway, he says, go here and then grind the forest on your right. So that is Alpha, or Anna, if you're playing red. And in this case, I could go through the forest like so, and arrive here, drop off, and then... I don't know, have KTs or XA-180s in general flank around. And infantry just push forward or XAs over here, providing some sort of fire support. Anyway, what does he build? He starts with the Vihor and the pram -S. He gets his Hera out, his recon helicopter. I think we're going to see this going here. This is a defensive setup. Look at how much he puts left. <laughs> he puts nothing on the right. Just nothing at all. There is infantry in MI-17s coming out. There's OT tabs. Just KPVT fire support. Another OT tab. There's the VHOR. Apparently he has these at lower veterancy. The Pram. The Prachkas. And the Neva. That's 175 points in anti-air. That is interesting. That's a lot of anti-air. So, probably to keep... These are to keep helicopters at bay. And this one's to keep planes at bay and keep the VHOR alive at all costs, I suppose. And then he's the Pram and he also starts out with a Logi truck. I think the Logi is there to keep the Prochka supplied. Because without that, you're only going to get four shots. And if they're operating together, you're very likely to only hit two to four helos. There. He's already fired all the missiles from the Prochkas. And he's hit but not killed the MI-8. There's my MI-8 with Eriko coming in. Neva is now attacking because it is in range of this town. could have had that with my uh, rocket pod plane. But I completely messed that up. As I was trying to go for the MI-17, I couldn't quite see this. So all of my helos have died. Recon helos have died. The Sokol have died. I'm trying to push on the town. And so does he. He comes in with Pado Branchi. I'm smoking it up. It's a, it's a little late. Especially considering that the only units that he has is the Prime S and the Vihor that are active fire support. And the MI-17 to some extent. Here comes the rocket pod plane. But because I retask it to go after something else, it gets stunned. Pratska has been resupplied. This one is already half, no, sorry, two-thirds empty. Infantry arrives. You got one BVP MADA over there with infantry. That's it. 
So he went 80% here, just a few percent there. He had a plane and he had this, but this came in later. But this combination of Vihor and Smoke is fantastic. He just picks off, look at that. He picked off all the fire support vehicles, all the KTs, all the 180s that I had, and made it very isolated for the Renico and the Yakari, sorry, the Yakari, to operate in the town here. Because I couldn't reach out and get the Vihor. I couldn't reach out and get the Pram S. I did kill his infantry, so at least that went well. But... I couldn't hold it. Now he can probably see that. Yep, he can definitely see that. So he's keeping his tanks at bay. He can see that I killed that. I tried to kill that. That's fair. There's his drop off. That's the main Chovana, as well as the BVP. I wonder if he has this just to get the transport. This is a pretty good transport. Decent auto cannon, decent amount of frontal armor. It's nothing stellar, but it's only 15 points. And, yeah, I tried desperately to get more reinforcements here or some sort of fire support to deal with the Vihor. He brings in more infantry, and my 17 infantry especially. And he just casually walks them over to the town. <laughs> and the moment that I put the, the Ranako forward, or the Yekari, I get shit on by the tank and the MI-17s. If I'd had Erico over there, I might have mitigated that somewhat. But Erico needs two missiles to kill this, if not three. And he had more than one. So yes, I should have gotten some special forces infantry to the town. It's just a question of how. Had I played the other town here, I would have encountered Specialny as well as one HGM team. It's not stellar. It's some defense. And these are pretty low range as well. 2450, much like my spikes. So I would have rushed into this town. Probably taken it. But then again, I might have had the same issue with the MS-17s. As well as the tank. Right. Look at how he keeps pouring all of his stuff in here. He really wants to get that town. goes the Syria. I don't think I hit the Vihor even once. Not with the Syria anyway. Maybe with the uh, PST Pajon later. The ATGM vehicle, but beyond that, I think I didn't damage it at all. He pushes forward aggressively with infantry, backed up by the MI-17. And because I didn't have any anti-air here, his MI-17s could just move unopposed. The lack of anti-air in my section, in my initial opener, was terrible. Because that allowed the MI-17s to just go completely nuts on my infantry. Now, once he has control over Delta, at least most control, he has control over Alpha. He pushes his infantry through the town. Oh, sorry, through the forest. Same with the Pram S, which has both that 120mm, 2450 range, as well as a Conqueror's missile. So it's an excellent fire supporter. Mostly at range. Up short range? I don't think so. But I could be wrong about that. I don't, generally don't use these. And by taking control here, he can either decide to harass, or he can just take control of it and make sure that I cannot get into that section anymore. Because the moment that I push into the forest, I'm going to get encountered, or I'm going to encounter recon infantry, line infantry, as well as special forces. Sorry, elite infantry. At this point, he probably knows he killed all my tank snipers. Both Sarias are dead. And then... The Vihor, now going to get his M84AN friend, can go and do anything he likes. And now that he has all of this, he's reinforced this a little. Command infantry, more drug infantry, another Prachka. So I cannot fly in, I cannot drive in, <laughs> I cannot do anything there. But this was, I think, critical. And look at how empty it is now. It's just one, one little recon unit. His infantry, command infantry is over there. So hitting it there wasn't that useful. Ah, 
I do kind of hit in the vicinity of the command infantry, but that is basically all that I do. It's the vicinity. There. The Vihor comes out of a smoke, kills one of my XA-185s. And uh, the other one, also because of my own smoke screen, never really gets a shot. But I wanted to try and preserve the unit because it was a 60 point investment. 25 AP could have definitely hurt this unit. And it did. I think one of the missiles arrived and caused three damage. But the Vihor is just such a beast of a tank with a 10 rounds a minute rate of fire. And since you don't... At least I have never seen a super heavy versus super heavy fight in ranked. It's usually super heavy versus lighter stuff. That 10 rounds a minute rate of fire is deadly. This was just... This was an art form to see. Just the Vihor, the smoke, the M84 AN. And he, he creeps forward. Smoke screen, tree line, smoke screen, backing up his infantry. It's just this blob of death. And I don't know how to counter that. If you do, then by all means, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, I look forward to playing Konos again, because I am interested in seeing what else I can learn from him. So far, um, once you have this, just back up the rest, basically. At least that's my takeaway. And also, make sure that I have a lot more units. Oh, he says, also you could start with an infantry CV so you don't have to invest on base defense at the get-go. Excellent point. All right. Well, Konos, thanks for the tips. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for more videos.